Today we are going to look at how to create simple bot in PuzzleBot service to receive applications. Before we start the review, I want to let you know that all actions you can perform not only from your computer, but from your phone as service is fully adapted for mobile devices. Let's move on to the review. Open the browser and go to the personal cabinet. Log in any convenient way. Select the bot and proceed to its configuration. Let's open the main tab constructor. We have already created and filled commands, but since we will not need them, simply click and hold down the Shift key and choose to delete them, and select Delete. To delete on the mobile version, there is a special button in the bottom right corner. Publish changes. Now you can proceed to filling up the bot. We will create a bot for accepting requests for development of the same bot. Start with the Start command. Click on it. Select the image block. Load image. And type in the text which will be sent at the login to all users. Save the changes. Put a variable to substitute the name of the user who started the dialog with the bot. All variables can be found in the Variables tab. Let's add styles for the text. Create a regular keyboard. Let's write the name of the button and then specify the command for the transition. There aren't any commands yet, but after the buttons have been created, the commands will automatically be added. By the same analogy, we will create three more. Important! For the Ask a Question button, select the Dialog Start Action, which will allow you to communicate with the user on behalf of the bot. Save the changes. Change the position of the buttons by dragging and dropping them. Close the editing window to save the changes. Let's create another regular command. Let's name it Order. Let's fill in the command Cost of Services. Let's add a text block. Fill in the text block. Add an inline keyboard. We'll change the name. Select a command to which we'll be committed. Close the window. We have a new connection. Let's fill in the other commands. Let's go to the other command, create an input form and fill in the question which will have to answer the user. Type in a name for statistics. This name will not be displayed. Change the variable. Add some more questions. In the advanced settings, let's add an option to skip the answer to the form input. Close the tab and publish changes. Check how the bot works.
great. But works right. Notifications of responses to the form go straight to the bot owner's telegram. To view all responses, you need to go to the Designer tab in the Input Forms and select the necessary command, which contains the forms. As a result, today we were able to quickly and easily create a simple bot for receiving requests. And in doing so, we were able to use several kinds of keyboards.